I added xanthan gum to this one to see if it was the same thing as this one. And the results were... Have you ever heard of xanthan gum? Well, this ingredient is the difference between the OG Red Hot versus the Buffalo Wings Red Hot. You can even make it yourself at home, so let me show you how. I'm sure you've seen brands and influencers trying to convince you that you should stay away from ingredients that you can't pronounce. Fear mongering is a tactic used in the media to create anxiety and panic in the public to gain attention. I'm here to show you that you shouldn't be afraid of your food ingredients by spreading food science facts. I'm going to be adding 0.1% of xanthan gum to this sauce with a hint of canola oil and some butter for flavoring to show you it's not much different. Let's see the thickness. So we can just pour this like this. See how thick that is? I mean, it's not too thick, but it does have some consistency, um, has some gel-like features, definitely more stabilized than this guy. When I want it on my wings, I want it to stick on my wings and using xanthan gum is going to help it become more thick and help it stick on my wings. I'm just going to measure out how much this is and I'm going to put 0.1% of xanthan gum into this mixture. I'm gonna just pour it all out because at this point it's going all in the same bottle. So we have 150 grams, or 151 grams. Let's just round up and we're gonna put 0.1% of it. So I'm gonna put half first and then I'm gonna mix. We got 0 0.06, we just work. And then let's have red sauce all over me. Let's test this out. Does it look the same? I feel like this one is more smooth, more thick. I guess I could put some more. Look at this. I mean, I don't have enough red hot sauce to do this experiment. And I'm not gonna go buy them because I had to pay for this. I didn't even put, it didn't even move. It's still at zero. So that's all I'm gonna put. The back of the container says that there's some canola oil and some butter flavor. So I don't have, butter flavoring um like a natural flavor but i'm gonna replace it with some melted butter so i'm gonna just add just a little bit and now i'm adding some oil don't know how much they put but i'm just gonna put this much this looks about right tell me if you see the difference Xanthan gum is just a polysaccharide that's used as a thickener and stabilizing agent. It's a complex carb that is also a soluble fiber. Complex carbohydrates are made up of sugars that are strung together in long, complex chains. Simple carbohydrates are broken down quickly by the body to be used as energy. Simple carbohydrates are like sugar that you put in your tea. Don't judge. Don't ju I know you're about to do, you're about to judge me for how much sugar I'm about to put, but I get it from my father. Okay, don't judge, don't. Texturizing agents are one of the categories of food additives and xanthan gum falls under that category. It's made by fermenting a sugar from wheat, corn, soy, or other plant starches. In the right dosage, it can be great to thicken up sauces and soups. It's in many foods and it's great for people with gluten allergies. The reason why a lot of brands use xanthan gum is for its great thickening characteristics. It's gluten-free, it's vegan, it's very affordable, it's safe, and you only need a little bit and it goes a long way. Okay, so we're going to do this side with the original Red Hot that we made into a mixture with the xanthan gum. And then we're gonna do the OG, the regular one that you get from the store. I'm gonna start with a third of the cup and then increase from there. So I don't think I'm gonna use all of this third of a cup, so it goes back in. Pretty. This is the one we made together, and this is the one you buy at the store. So I'm just gonna try this one too. Mm. Tastes exactly the same. Yep. Check out the blog for step-by-step -step instructions for this recipe. Thanks for coming along on my spreading food science facts journey and I hope you learned some more with me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button, guys. Don't forget.